Hi, thank you for calling Dynex. This is Nathan. Can I get your phone number, please? This is an emergency. I need to speak with Brian. I'm sorry? This is an emergency. I need to speak with Brian right away. Brian who? He didn't give us his last name. His first name is Brian, though. Okay, I, I don't have any way that I can just transfer you right over to somebody. Uh, it, what's the emergency pertaining here? This is Captain Gray with the New Jersey Police Department. I've re um, I'm at the hospital right now with um, this this guy right now, and he he's he is apparently a compressed air of can. We gave him severe frostbite, and he's losing his arm quickly. Um, I need to get in contact with Brian right away. Okay, I don't know which Brian. We have several Brians in the building. Uh, did the customer? I mean, the customer spoke with him beforehand. Yeah, he's a, he's right here next to me right now. Um, he said to call him back, and I'm asking for Brian now. Okay, and uh, all right, let me put you on hold and see if I can find out what's going on with this situation. Sure. Is, is there any type of case notes or anything that I can pull up to be able to look up here to see if there was anything documented? He told Brian that a thing of compressed air froze his arm, and it's and it has to be amputated soon. Okay. His arm is so, so a can using a can of compressed air. It, his arm was frostbitten. No, it was it, it exploded, and it was a Dynex can apparently, and it exploded. Okay, all right. Uh, can I get a phone number? Did the customer give a phone number or anything? He, um, hang on one second. No, there was no phone number provided. Okay, all right. Hold the line for me for one moment, please. Okay, I apologize about the wait time there. I was finding out the proper procedure to do here. All right, I've got a form that I'm going to have to get a bunch of the information from the customer to fill it out. And so then they'll be back in contact. Somebody will be back in contact with him within very shortly to, I guess, get more details about it and whatnot. You do realize this man um, is going to lose his arm in a second, and I'm next to him right okay. now. Okay, is, is he, he at the hospital right now? I mean, yeah, if he needs medical attention right now, then he needs to go seek medical attention right now. He, Once the he's medical in the attention is in, I was huh? called to this. I, he's right, right. He's almost right next to me. I was called to the hospital because of this situation. Okay, so he is at the hospital right now. Yes, I'm an off-duty officer right now, and I'm here right there. Okay, and he is seeking medical attention right now. There is a doctor that is speaking with him right now. He's not just sitting out in the car waiting. No, he's inside of it. He's in the offices right now. Okay, all right. Once the medical attention has been done and seen, we have to get information from him of product, when the product was purchased, full name, address. We've got to get all this information gathered from the customer. All right. Um, this... This um, air compressed can, I suppose you had some kind of warning on it, correct? He had what? It had a warning on it upon explosion, right? Isn't that correct? Yes. Alright, was it visible enough? Okay, like, like I said, I mean. We've got to take and gather information from the customer. I, I've got it. That is the procedure to this. All right. Well, you can get rid of that procedure right now because I'm in a lifeline situation. I need to speak to Brian right away. Okay. Brian, it, it's going to be the same exact situation. Brian is, is a rep just like me, and it's going to be filling out a form, gathering information. That is the procedure for this as a customer. It's a com customer emergency procedure. If there is a personal injury, customer needs to seek medical attention first. Once the medical attention is being seek, we gather information, we go from there. All right. So what's the procedure if this man loses his life here tonight? What's, what's your procedure for that? Okay. It, just a minute ago, it was an arm being amputated, and now it's a man's going to be losing his life. Yes, that's what I said. He could he could fall into some kind of coma from it, and he could very well die. I'm thinking inside the box right now. I think you should do the same. 
Okay, like I said, there is procedure to this. Information has to be gathered from the customer. Do you have the information from the customer that I can gather? Full name, address, email address, date of purchase, I mean everything that I can need for this. I have his name right here. Okay, customer's full name, please. It is Jim. It is what? Jim. Jim? Last Anson. name? Anson. I'm sorry, your cell phone is cutting in and out on me real bad. That's why I'm asking you to constantly repeat stuff. Hanson. And Hanson? Yes. H A N S O N E? No, H is in, is in hi. It, is there a chance that you could possibly call us back from a landline? or something of that nature so that way we can get a better connection because I'm getting so much static right now I'm having a very difficult time repeating or understanding you. That's why I've been constantly asking you to repeat throughout the entire call. Can you hear me now? Uh, it's a little bit better. All right. Jim Hanson. It's still, it's constant floating in and out there on me. I'm sorry. All right. Do you want to speak to the doctor right now? I, it's like I said, I've got to gather information from the customer. I've got He's to gather information about this customer. I mean, I. All right, hang on. I'm putting him on the line right now. He can explain to you what has happened. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. This is um Dr. Henry. Yes. Yes. I I, um, I, I had a patient come in here today, and he's got a black arm, severely burned. Frostbite. He says um, an aerosol can exploded on him. Oh, wait, um, and okay. air, compressed air. Sorry. Yes. Yes. That that, w that was explained to me as well, and as I was trying to explain to the off-duty officer there, our procedure sorry, for this second. is. Yes. Yes. Um, the patient tells me that he spoke to a guy named Brian before, and he said call back when he gets to the hospital. After the medical attention has been received and whatnot, have him give us a call so we can gather information from the customer about the situation that happened, about what exactly went on, what happened well, during the I, situation. I what need to ask, what's, what do you guys put in your can so we can tell, does it really have any poisoning? Not, not everything can be to, um, found out by blood tests. Okay. Um, as far as actual contents of what's exactly in the can, I don't have any sort of recipe list in front of me or anything of that nature. Could you um, find that this is an emergency? We will need to operate very soon. Okay, please hold for me. Thank you. Sir? Yes. Sir? Yes. Hello? Yes, this is Dr. Hampson. Yes. Dr. Hanson? Yes. Okay. So just a second ago, I was asking the, the officer there the, the client's name, the customer's name that was actually being worked on, and his name is Hanson as well? No, Jim Henry. Oh, Jim Henry. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, so we did some research, and on the, MS, the MSDS sheet, the ingredients are listed as compressed air. Yes. So that's all in it? There's no chemicals? Compressed air. Because I got suspicion to believe his um, wrist is shattered from the, it's, from the force bite. Yeah, it's, it's compressed air. Yeah, and his whole arm's black, and it's starting to smell. He'll need operating okay. on soon. Okay, it, it's it happened. Uh, we looked at the call volume or looked at the call history here, and he had called in 15 minutes ago, saying that that had happened, roughly 15 minutes ago, saying yeah. that that had happened, got, and his arm, in his arm, on a um, a, with a paramedic. Uh huh. Okay, he got him brought in with a paramedic, but I whenever I was speaking to the paramedic here. Whenever I was that. speaking to the office, whenever the officer was speaking to me just a minute ago, 